the Lloyd Noble Center never overly gracious to its guests. Number two, Maryland, and number 21, Oklahoma, is in the showcase. Gary Williams guys playing their first outright road game. Kelvin Sampson Sooners had won their last seven in a row. First half, Terps by five. And Qantas White, alley -oop to Jabari Brown. That is a grown-up shot. Sooners down three. Late in the first, we've employed some spot shadows here. The teaching method. Chris Wilcox and Drew Nicholas fly at the ball, leaving Brown with the clear path right to the rim. Sooners by two at halftime. Second half, Jason Dietrich putting it up. Four Terps create the easy lane here. And Darian Selvey there to tip it in. Terps getting killed on the glass. Then Evi Ara hoisted up a three. Aaron McGee goes to the glass and tips that in as well. Later, watch the spot shadows. McGee puts up the shot. Nicholas just standing there. That allows Dietrich to sneak in and put it right back home. The Sooners with 13 offensive rebounds. Starting to pull away. McGee working some baseline. Sooners smell an upset. It's a pungent smell. Just over four minutes left. Sooners by 10. Hollis Price to Ara. Huzzah for Ara. Sooners win at 72 to 56. The Terps' first game in 10 days. Rust never sleeps. They shot just 38% and committed a season high 21 turnovers. Ara had 19. The Sooners now take a couple weeks off. They'll enjoy the holidays after upsetting the number two team in the country. We've had some teams that probably had a low ceiling, probably weren't going to get much better. This team ha does have a high ceiling. I think we're going to show some improvement. Uh, uh, Jabari's going to get better, uh, and we'll get better around him. I think Hollis and Qantas, those kids, are, you know, not every team we play is going to be as strong and physical as Maryland. That's about as good as it gets right there. Tournament of Champions, Georgia State, number 18, St. Joe's. Thomas Terrell, reigning threes. The Tournament of Champions record, 36 points for Terrell. Georgia State up 10. Then Terrell with the pick, and that's nifty. To Cedric Patton, who cleans it up. Take another look. Terrell going behind the back to start up the break. Patton would miss the foul shot for the Panthers up four. 6.7 seconds left. St. Joe's down three. Jameer Nelson has to miss the second foul shot. Check out Damian Reed. We got the big arrow pointed at him. Tips the ball expertly to Marvin O'Connor. He had 33, but he didn't have that three. Lefty Drizel's guys beat number 18, St. Joe's, 95-90. That's win number 768 for the left hand. Seriously, first time since 1989 that both the Illini and Tigers have been ranked in the top 10 at tip-off. Wesley Stokes dishing out one of his seven assists. Kareem Rush hit the three, but Mizzou did not hit many. Eight of 31 from long range. Later in the second, we're talking about Frank Williams. A little floater, Illini by five, same score. 53-48 Williams, turnaround baseline, Jay, that's soft. He had 16 of his 22 in the second half. His team's up a touchdown. More Williams, in addition to all the points, four rebounds, four assists, three steals, a line by nine, and they take home the trophy and the bragging rights, 72-61. Illinois' first win over a ranked opponent this year. They had lost to Arizona and Maryland. Tigers play like diseased yaks for the second straight Saturday. Rush, a combined 10 for 33 from the field against Illinois and Iowa, and his buddy Clarence Gilbert, four for 23 in those games. Neighboring states, Indiana, Kentucky, getting together. Wildcats off a tough loss against Duke. And who's your coach? Mike Davis busted on UK before the game, said he hates them. Didn't like that either. Cliff Hawkins to taste Sean Prince. That was just swell. And the Cats are up 14. Indiana struggling all day. Tom Coverdale for three. And when you miss, you get no points. See, he was 0 for 7 from the field. IU just 3 of 17 from three point range. Frustration sets in. Look at Jared Oldham kicking Keith Bogus. Yeah, he's no sea bass. He didn't miss. Gets a T for that. Second half, Kentucky up 15. Hawkins to Prince again. Both players had 17 points. Tayshawn 11 board. 66-52 is your on campus. New Orleans, Florida, Brett Nelson. His buddy David Lee, they're teammates. And David Lee had eight points, and Florida has an easy win. 76-60 over the privateers. How about Kansas and North Dakota? Let's hear it for the Great Plains. Kirk Heinrich to Jeff Boshi. He's from North Dakota. Trip home for him. He had 23. And the Beakers win at 108 to 77. Oklahoma State, Arkansas over there in Little Rock. First half, Arkansas up 17-6 off the turnover. Janeiro Pargo, which is also very good at the Cuban household good food or whatever that was. Spicy though. Pargo again. He's actually from Chicago. Hits the jumper. He had 21. Arkansas led by 22 at one point in the first half, but 
Eddie Sutton, he spent a lot of time in Arkansas, so he's familiar with what happens. You get it to Victor Williams. The steal go V. Oklahoma State down three. Maurice Baker drives, banks it home. One point game. Baker had 21 points. Less than nine to go. Frederick Yanzian. The Cowboys going to rally and stay unbeaten. He had 10, and the Cowboys win it 85 76. Nolan strolling. UNC St. Joseph. First half, UNC of 21 13. Orlando Melendez. Hits the three. I have all his albums. His only hoop of the game. Finished with three. Late first half. Good math there, huh? Capel. Jason Capel gets the rebound and gets the jumper at the buzzer. He had 21, and UNC wins at 92-76 over the 18th-ranked team. In Jason Gardner, duck. 10th-ranked Arizona at Oregon. He's 0-2 in his previous trips to Eugene. Oregon comes out smoke. James Davis for three. Oregon up 27-23. Frederick Jones for three. Oregon, eight for 12 from three-point range in the first half. Take that, Nebraska! Ducks keep rolling in the second half. They're up 13. Anthony Lever will actually miss a three. But inside, Brian Helquist lays it in, gets the foul. Big win, 105-75 Ducks. Kansas State and Iowa. Luke Wrecker, pretty reverse. He had 29. Second half, Nick Williams for the lay-in. Alba foul! Makes it a two-point game. K-State hanging around. But the Hawkeyes open it up, Ryan Hogan for three, and Iowa wins 89-70. The in-state cheese battle, Marquette, Wisconsin, mm -hmm. off the turnover, Kirk Penny to Freddie Owens, and Freddie Owens good for two. Make it three. Later in the second half, Penny, make it three again. He finished with 33, and Wisconsin wins 86-73. Seton Hall, Michigan State, Andre Barrett, no look to Marcus Tony L. Second half, Spartans up only two. They're tough to beat at the Breslin Center. Adam Wolf following his own miss shot. Kelvin Torbert back to Wolf. Out of the foul. Good hustle. We like that. Out the next lane. Under five minutes left. Spartans up 10. Marcus Taylor for three. He had 18. Michigan State holds on. 68 64. We've really got against Western Michigan. First half, Marshall by one. Ben Reed misses. But the Broncos there with the rebound. Watch this play. Nice. Back inside. Robbie Collum gets the read. Reed had 22 points. Broncos by one. Second half. Western Michigan by two. Reed with the ball. He tries to throw it. Oh, that's an alley oop. Taylor Bro. Still second half. Here we go. Marshall answers. Ronnie Dawn. That is one long three-pointer. He said, you know what? That wasn't far enough. Watch this, Mitch. Unbelievable. Look how far away it is. Dribbles around. Falling, going, and 77-73, Dawn with 21 points. Nice touch. How about Detroit taking on Bowling Green? Brandon Park, pardon, with the ball. Little razzle-dazzle between the legs and the layup. Oh, that is showtime. Detroit up by one, Perry Watson. He can't enjoy that. Your guys just got schooled. Bowling Green, Charlie by one, pardon, taking off, drives, and gets the foul. He was on fire. Tied at 32 at the half. Second half, Bowling Green icing it. McLeod losing the ball. Pardon, of course, picks it up. Long three. Bowling Green wins at 77 to 60. And at the Rainbow Classic out in Hawaii, wraps. Tried to get the uh, foul. Here's Grundy for the game winner. Grundy for the tie, lost the handle. The ball is loose. One second, the shot of the foul, and it goes! Holy cow! Oh. Worth another peek. Anthony Grundy loses it. Right out to Marcus Melvin in Derek Wittenberg range. NC State wins it. First half now, Reese Gaines. Up ahead to Joseph and Seema, who was 5 of 6 from the field. Louisville up 11 at the half. And then Brian Northern, Larry O'Bannon, 8 points. Cardinals up 12, and Gaines working some magic. Enough seen. Pretty stuff. 25 points. Take another look. Switching hands. Throwing it up, and somehow it falls an and one to that. Louisville putting the finishing touch. Eric Brown. That's the anthem. Put your hands up. Louisville wins eight straight. The teacher winning this one, but good effort by Ford and his Colonels. Rick Pitino's Cardinals improving to nine and one. They head to Lexington for their huge game. One Notre Dame off to its best start since the Digger era, facing its first ranked opponent in number 21, Alabama. Irish should trail by as many as 21, but David Graves hitting the three there, ties it at 67. He led the Irish with 21. Less than three minutes to play, tied up by one Rod Grizzard. 
from deep. Alabama up by four. He had 21. Matt Carroll, though, answering for Notre Dame. He cuts it to one there. 22 seconds to go now. Irish down by three. Graves getting the look. Cannot hit, but Jordan Cornette is there. The lead again cut to one. After two Grizzard free throws, pushed Alabama's lead to three. Notre Dame now trying to tie it. Graves loses the ball. Humphrey, though, chasing it down. The desperation three, no! And Mark Rock, Gottfried breathes a sigh of relief as Bama pulls it out, 79-76. Grizzard, nine of his 21 in the final, 237. The Irish are off to their best start since 85, hit just 28%, digging that hole in the first half. Irwin Dudley at 20 points and 11 rebounds for Bama. Fear the turtle. Gary Williams and Maryland try to bounce back after a rough one in Norman last week. Juan Dixon to Steve Blake. One, two, three, the hard way. Terps up 10, eight points for Blake. Less than 10 seconds left in the first half. Terps on a run to close it. Byron Mouton, who can score many different ways, takes it to the rack. Terps up 15 at halftime. Second half, Maryland up 16 off the inbounds. Blake to Lonnie Baxter, who is much big. 12 points for Baxter. Terps beginning to cruise. And Juan Dixon, who's a thief. Very few steal it like this guy. He lays it in. He also had nine assists, career high. One of those assists with the Terps up 21. Here comes Juan. Terps just running, having fun. Brian Randall, that's levitation, Holmes. He had nine on the evening. Terps up 23. Williams and company cruise by 28. Juan Dixon and Byron Mouton both go for 19. Drew Nicholas, season high 14. Clark, former Tulane coach back in the state of Louisiana, likes this. Darius Rice, alley -oop. 18-14 Miami, they were up eight at the half. Late second, though, it's Brad Bridgewater with the follow, and LSU looking good. We're tied at 61. Minute to go, still tied. Marcus Barnes coming up huge. Barnes from behind the arc, drains the three at 13 as Miami goes on to win this one. 68-61, John Sammons, 19 points, five assists to pace the Hurricanes. Defense has been great for Miami all year. Sixth straight game, they have held their opponents under 65 points. First ever meeting between Columbia and UCLA. Second half, Bruins up by 17. Matt Barnes misses. TJ Cummings does not. Terry Cummings kid at 18. Bruins by 19. Later in the second, it's Barnes off the feed from Jason Capono. Bruins win it by nine. Looking for their ninth straight win. First half, James White. Gators up 17, and this would be a recurring theme. Florida dunks. Ronnie King misses. Matt Bonner cleans up. Later down, David Lee throws down. Then Udonis Haslam takes the pass, and he finishes. Second half, Haslam again. More Haslam. He had 23 points and 10 boards. Finally, Justin Hamilton feeds. Bunnell Colas. Gators win 94-66. Florida has won nine in a row. In the Hoosier Classic at Conseco Fieldhouse, first half. Ryland Hangey, the steal and the finish. Butler up by seven later in the first. More Hangey. This guy's a player. The steal again. Butler up only 26 19 at halftime, though. Later in the game, Hangey, one more time. He had 20 points. And Butler wins 45 37. They take on Indiana in Saturday.